Don't let anybody tell you that we're going to get on rocket ships and live on Mars. This is our home. What was it about this issue that you couldn't sit back and just not do anything about it anymore? You know, it is the most important challenge we face as a world. But what's different now is the solutions are here. Uh, renewable energy is getting cheaper than fossil energy almost everywhere, and people are putting politics to one side and saying, let's solve this together. In this film, you provide proof, calling back on a prediction that was made on the first one. The most criticized scene in the movie An Inconvenient Truth was showing that the combination of sea level rise and storm surge would flood the 9-11 memorial site. And people said, what a terrible exaggeration. Hurricane Sandy slammed into New York City last night, flooding the World Trade Center site. What do you say to the naysayers now? How can you convince them? Well, some of them are uh, being convinced, not so much by me, but by Mother Nature, <laughs> because the climate-related extreme weather events are way more common. In the last seven years, we've had 11 once in a thousand year events, and so Mother Nature is uh, kind of screaming at us, we gotta do something. Storms get stronger and more destructive. Watch the water splash off the city. This is global warming. The first inconvenient truth, um, it was a wake-up call. It was a wake-up call to a lot of people that don't really understand the issue. What do you hope audiences take away from Truth to Power? I've dedicated myself to doing everything I can to try to help bring about solutions to this climate crisis. And we've got to do this, not just for our kids and grandkids, but for ourselves as well. The next generation would be justified in looking back at us and asking, what were you thinking? Couldn't you hear what the scientists were saying? Couldn't you hear what Mother Nature was screaming at you?